bike blogger here. Here's my bike, Eastway Emitter R1. So, as you can tell, way over here, one, two, three, three gears? Yep, three gears. I've uh, definitely put this bike on a diet. Uh, bullhorn handlebars, this is a shift button here, and here it shifts like SRAM. Easy, hard, very simple. Um, finally got all the kinks out of this bike. Uh, very happy with it. Um, so yeah, carbon fiber. Covered up the branding a little bit because I'm not a big fan on branding. Uh, some nice platform pedals. Love these platform pedals. Um, got a little mirror up in the front there. Uh, oh shoot, I don't have my bike light on. I have to go get my bike light uh, before it gets dark tonight. Um, what else? Anything else? I guess not. So uh, thanks for watching and let's go for a ride. Bike blogger here on my way to work. Topic of the day. I'm riding my carbon fiber bike finally, my road bike. A uh, lot to tell you about it. I think I'll put that at the beginning of the video though, so just enjoy the ride pretty much right now. Nice and smooth, quiet, and what is going on up here? Sewer improvements! Woo. So, yeah, anyway, we got three speeds on this bike. Hey, you know, it could do a lot more but I wouldn't be as happy with it. Why? Well, because I like to match it. Just my riding style, I don't have a lot of really steep hills. So, I just simplified it. Only got three gears, three little uh, cogs in the back. So my gearing is, um, I think it's 44 tooth in the front and then I got cogs 14, 16, and 18. Um, so yeah. So I got easy, medium, and hard. Very simple. The way I like it. Very simple. Uh, I've had so many problems with this bike getting it set up and uh, just noises and other things so I'm really happy with it right now though. so yeah I mean noises noises began with uh, with this di2 internally routed wires they were bouncing around all inside the frame I had to use some zip ties to stop that uh, believe it or not, Shimano manufacturers are uh, um, people who do the DI2 stuff. Little electronic wiring, electric wires. They actually sell zip ties. You could use your own though, but what a money grab though, geez. Although I guess if you're going to spend so much money on a, a DI2 bike, what's another? I don't know, 15 bucks for zip ties. Uh. Right. Into the zip tie. So, you can probably see in the video frame, I got some uh, new shift buttons on my bike. Very similar to a... Uh, very similar to a single speed bike with the bullhorn uh, handlebars. Cross traffic just to stop there. Gotta slow down a little. But I got these really cool shift buttons. Very minimalistic. Minimalistic? Minimalist? Whatever. Uh, So yeah, I just got a button on the left and a button on the right. So here
here and here. But I ride single speed, so I don't even need to shift. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. When I get tired, I can shift. When I get tired, I can shift. Okay. Of course, you can't get these uh, little bar end shifters with brake levers integrated from any other manufacturer other than Shimano. You can't get it on... Uh, no, I take that back. Campy does have, I think, uh, an option maybe, or at least for front and rear uh, derailers. But I just wanted to be able to do the rear derailleur because I don't have a front derailleur. I don't like front derailleurs, even on the DI2. The auto trim does work real nicely though, so if that's your cup of tea. I recommend it. Speed hump. Okay, no stop there. I like no stops. Never stop. Never, never, never. Or here. Alright, up the hill. bike's pretty fun now. Another problem I was having like when I was climbing the hill like this one, the uh, I was getting little ping noises from the wheels under load. And uh, right here. And uh, that was really annoying. That really takes away from the experience. Um, oh, by the way, I do have a uh, a little upgrade on my other bike. I'll show you that in a future video. But uh Yeah, so many so many little issues with this bike just really annoyed me. Um I guess I'm just super super uh because I'm so used to uh single speed. You know, it's just so simple. It just works every time at least for me uh i'm just so particular about uh shifting i really wish there was a better way of doing it i understand it's very simple with a chain and uh and a derailleur system you know unlike you know planetary gear hubs or whatever um i understand it's very simple but i don't know just it just always feels clunky to me. Even, uh, gotta go this way, it's one way, that way. Even DI2, it just, it, it's better. DI2 is better than uh, conventional, in my opinion, but I don't know. I'm just very picky, I think. I know you can get a, uh, <clears throat> I know you can get a DI2 uh, Ultegra rear derailleur now that has a clutch in it. So maybe the chain wouldn't make so much noise when you're bouncing around. So I'm very particular about bike noises. And that's one reason the quality of my videos, audio-wise at least, is not so bad because uh, I'm always very picky about noises on my bike. All right, out to the street. I've just been kind of going in random, random directions. Oh, look at that, a bike lane. Let us take the bike lane. I actually haven't shifted since we began the video here. Like I said, I just wish it was, uh... I'm not very good, I guess, at, uh... Setting up a shifting system. That's probably why I've never been so big into geared bikes. The shifting always kind of noisy. Let's shift up one. Did I just shift? I think I just shifted up one. Okay, so that was nice and quiet. But uh, I think it's also technique. Just gotta get used to. Uh, just gotta get used to uh, shifting under load. Try to do it a little more smoothly. Pedal in circles, as the uh, myth goes. Uh, what else? Yeah. Had to fix
fix my saddle height. This is all stuff you gotta do on any bike. But when you got a bike that's already perfectly set up, I don't know. You just always wanna ride that bike. But this bike, this bike feels real good now. Getting the fit right is definitely very important. Let's see, so we've gone about three miles so far. Nice and easy. There's a bus behind me, I think. Yeah, there. It finally stopped. Ugh. Yeah, there's a uh, there's talk about increasing the uh, bus activity where I live and uh, some residents aren't happy with it uh, you know increased noise if you have a bus going by like every five to eight minutes I guess it could get kind of annoying into the late hours and the early morning hours Windy today. Uh, very nice day though, uh, temperature wise. Nice temperatures. Alright, we're gonna bail. I had to bail out there. Too much traffic. Not paying attention to the road. Uh, what else? Yeah, the headset, the, uh, <clears throat> since it's a carbon fiber bike, the, uh, the headset <clears throat> and the stem connection of the handlebars and everything, it was all coming loose on me. Like, after every ride, it was pretty annoying. I used some of that fiber grip stuff, and I think it eventually finally started to work. But that was kind of a kind of annoying. What is this guy doing? He's out in the street blowing leaves into the curb. All right, then. Whatever. Let's go a dish away. And being a new bike, you know, I don't want to mess it up in the rain and stuff. But I'm definitely going to be riding this in the rain and stuff. Because I have, uh, I have babied this bike for way too long. Since I've had it for like, uh, 18 months. Heck, it's no longer a newborn anymore. It's going to be a toddler soon. Yeah, what the heck. So yeah, I think I finally got all the kinks out of this bike, so I'm very happy. Finally figured out the gearing I want. Uh, we can ru run it on rough stuff like this now. Uh, honestly, if I mess up the wheels, I would be totally sad. I just don't want to mess up myself. Uh, it's very gravelly in this part. Not a huge fan of the Mavic wheels. Not even really a huge fan of bladed spokes, but all the uh, all the lightweight, fancy wheels have those bladed spokes, it seems like. But, uh, anyway, so, I'm gonna have all the specs on this bike in the video description below, a link to my website, bikeblogger.com slash site, S-I-T-E. And uh, just go under like multi-speed or something. And you'll find all the specs on this bike. Let's go ahead and go down the alleyway with it. Why not? I've only shifted once. And I shifted up. Because I'm hardcore like that. So more in the description below. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time.